at Whitefish Point. We're talking with the president of the society, also an avid diver and a historian, Mr. Tom Farnquist. Welcome, Tom. Well, thanks a lot, Fred. Can you give us a little history about the, um, about the museum itself? I know that uh, it's come a long way in the last three or four years, but uh, back when the, uh, the idea was first uh, conceived, uh, was it a group of people here from this area that decided to put a museum out here? Well, when we formed our historical society back in 1978, we had ambitions, of course, of acquiring this lighthouse at Whitefish Point, which was the first lighthouse on Lake Superior. And it took us until about 1983 to do that. And uh, after we acquired the, uh, the lighthouse itself, we started working on plans for a museum. We started with a very small gallery, and we ended up with this gallery here. This is a very beautiful building that we're standing in, and I understand that you have plans to expand uh, additionally in the coming years. We plan on tripling the size of this gallery. We're going to go west with an exhibit gallery that will include the history of diving on the Great Lakes, 150 uh, seating capacity video theater, and a revolving exhibit area. Also, on the other wing, we'll be including a gift shop and concession stand.